Good morning, my lovelies. It's Friday morning. It's too bloody early. And it's time to go and get some tires. It's cold, oh, oh dear. It's cold, but it is stunning. Ah, what time is it? Oh, right, let's go. Morning, Stigbert. Morning, Sir Arnold. Oh, road closed. YouTube videos with oh. you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. You're shaking about one of them, right? of ice around. Hopefully we're reaching the end of this uh, little cold snap and going into the next week it's going to become a lot milder. Which will be nice in terms of actually doing useful stuff. I'm not sure what it's like for you, but when the cold properly kicks in around here, the it's almost irresistible to just hibernate away, just to go into kind of survival mode. Um, you really don't feel inclined to get out and tinker or do useful things. And I do have a list of things which I should at least be trying to do. <clears throat> but there we are, in a sense I'm doing one of them now, as this is the first of a two-part tyre story. And the reason why it's in two parts will become evident. But in this first part we are heading off to have two lovely new tyres fitted to the Honourable Shisen, the world's first openly non-binary rover, front axle. Roger 
Papate is his name. Mr. George Roger Party, Mr. George Roger Party, Mr. George Roger Party. Oh, it's Mr. George Roger Party. Roger Party. And here we are, the first part of Sheathan getting a little bit of love. Watching Formula One definitely gives you a, a misleading idea of what length of time one should expect a wheel change to take. I think we might need to add a CV boot to the uh, the list of things we need to sort on the machines in here. And there we are. We are done. <coughs> that wasn't too bad done in less than half an hour. Not too cold for hanging around. And on the way back, we will try and avoid as many of those bloody traffic lights as we encountered on the way down as possible. Right, let's think about which way to go home. Uh, diddly dee, diddly dee, tell you what. I know. This is a bugger of a, a place to pull out. Oh, that will do. In fact, it's a bugger of an island, full stop. I had an interesting chat with the uh, with the guys there, and they were telling me about um, some of the changes that have come in since they were taken over by Halfords, which is um, which is a name that uh, well, <laughs> it's um, it's not a name in particularly high standing with the uh, with the motor train community, is it? Gorgeous day. But it's interesting um, how many checks and balances they have in place now, um, both uh, both physically. Uh, and oh, caravan storage. Uh, but also in terms of uh, well, what would have been called a paper trail, but is now of course um, fully electronic. So, for example, the guy who 
uh, the guy who fits the uh, fits the tyres and wheels and whatnot, he has to get his work kind of signed off after it's been checked, double checked by somebody else, that everything's fitted correctly, that uh, the the wheels have been torqued correctly, and that all has to be signed off, and it all has to be photographed. Uh, there are full before and after photos. Um, and like a fifth of his time was spent tapping away on a, a tablet which seems a little odd you don't imagine that computers will form part of changing tires but um, I suppose in what's become an increasingly litigious society it makes absolute perfect sense to um, to cover their asses, so they can't face some claim of anything being fitted incorrectly or damage caused after the event. And I guess it's all good for the punter as well, really, to uh, to have that extra peace of mind that um, everything has been absolutely done as it should so you don't have that nagging little thought at the back of your mind well I wonder if that was done properly or I wonder if that was done properly I suppose it's a difference between having um, blind faith and trust in a professional outfit and just having that extra little level of security or whatever so probably a good thing. Pain in the ass for them, of course. Now, the old tyres, the ones that came off, in terms of tread, they were actually okay. Certainly, you know, well legal. Yeah, they were just... Um, they were just well and truly scrubbed uh, on the outer edge. They were a mismatched pair. And I think they were really quite old. They were, they were perished and cracked and that's been noted on um, at least two advisories. Now, I didn't check the date code to see just how old the tires were. Um, I just decided that uh, their time was well and truly up and as part of trying to make sure that uh, this year making sure that all of the fleet are reasonably uh, absolutely as they should be that it was just time that they were replaced the new tyres I've gone for are um, they're on the budget side, but I didn't just uh, completely blindly buy on price. I did check out the, the ratings now. I mean, again, the I suppose one of the benefits of the internet age is that everything, information is so available. So, you know, I was able to have a look at the economy rating and the... Um, and the wet performance uh, and the sound levels um, and you know whilst these were as I say on the more towards the budget end than the premium end um, their uh, their ratings were actually quite good and if the ratings are to be believed then the tyres perform on a uh, on the level of more expensive offerings. Truth is, you probably wouldn't notice a bloody difference anyway, but there you go. It's, um, it's good to pretend that we know what we're doing, isn't it? Tires on the back probably 
well, one of them anyway, was pr is probably more in need of changing than the ones at the front. Uh, but what I'm actually doing is, um, Wendy, Wendy Craig has got two really good part warns, um, barely warns really, uh, and good name, a premium name, but it's only got two. So on Monday, I'm gonna have nip over to Wendy's and they'll be going on the back. Uh, so I decided that for the two, because I was gonna change all four tires, and I decided that the absolutely brand Harry Spankers ones, which in theory are the safest bet, should probably go on the front. And as they were the ones that were being fitted first, it also makes sense uh, to have the to have the fronts changed first, um, because obviously those are the both the driving and the steering wheels. So. That's, those are the ones that are going to benefit the most from some new rubber. Uh, but on Monday, there's going to be new or nearly new rubber on all four corners. And that will be a job ticked off. And it means that uh, we won't have to worry about it again for, uh, for a few years. Possibly quite a few years as um, Sheeson's not going to be racking up the miles. Talking about mileage, the current mileage is 63,586. It's been a beautiful morning for a little quiz out there. So for the sake of completeness, oh god, that's stunning looking over to the right. Again, I'm teasing you because you can't see. But hopefully what you can see is rather stunning as well. Yeah, uh, I really need to check the spare as well for the sake of uh, doing the job completely because I'm I can't even remember what the spare is um, on Sheeson. I can't remember it. I don't think it's an alloy, but I, I can't remember if it's a steel or a, or a space saver. But yeah, I should check that out and check out what state the, that tyre is in. I'm determined to be a more responsible car owner in 2023. I even when was it? Yesterday? I even did the um, oil and coolant. Look at me. And I might do the screen wash today. Let's go all out, shall we? I really should have come this way. We'll be back at that place, um, probably back end of next week, my loves, because um, Stigbert von Thundercock uh, could also do with some new rubber on the back axle. So, pennies permitting, we'll look at doing that next week. Road is still a bit dodgy. Another job I need to do here in Sheeson is to sort out the gramophone. It started only working intermittently, uh, and I'm pretty sure the problem is just the the contacts because it's um, it's an old style face off, and I think the issue is the con uh, the contacts. Now I kind of wedged it in with a bit of fag fag packet, 
the other night and that seemed to solve the problem although of course it um, aesthetically leaves something to be desired so I'm thinking about banging some glue in there as a as a more invisible and hopefully permanent solution oh that was a lovely Nicky my next door neighbour stigma around the block um, otherwise if it hasn't already his battery will be going down again he needs a proper run really he can have a proper run next week right thank you for watching my loves and I will catch you very soon Mr. Run your body, Mr. George, run your body.